Andhra Pradesh, for example, got bifurcated in 2014-15. The brief to us was that this part of the state has been primarily an agricultural state. Now, when you say industrial infrastructure, it is not about building roads and building corridors and building industrial lands. It's also about building the people who are going to work in that industry. You can't have an industrial infrastructure without people being ready in the state. And for an agricultural infrastructure state, this is an impossible task of impossibility. And that is what the vision of the state government was, which was told to us, based on which we did a market research, we found out the gaps, we aligned with the state government's industrial policy, and the entire scope of the project was decided. Based on the decision of the scope of the project, this project was designed to not just address the high end of the engineering skills, but also the mid-range and the low end of the skills. And that's the reason why there are center of excellences, there are technical skill development institutes, and so on and so forth. It's established over 40 locations, Initially, it was 36. It was extended without any, any change of any additional payment, where over 200 plus labs have been set up. These centers span over 250,000 square feet and more. Till 2021, 213,000 students have been trained, certified, and all their details are available in the system. The contract was to build, operate, and transfer. Build, then operate for two years, handhold for one year, and then transfer this at the end to the government. All of the phase has been completed. In fact, it took more than three years, uh, not thanks to COVID. Uh, the center was additionally run. Uh, handover was impossible. And in 2021, these centers were handed over. 40 booklets for each of these centers with complete stock register, co-signed by Design Tech, who was the system impl implementation for the project with APSSDC representing the state government and with the center head which is the principal of the college have been signed and have been handed over to the government. At the end of the successful implementation of this project, this project had got received letter of commendation from APSSDC saying great job done and this is I'm talking about 2021. On the same 2021, the others, and this is letter of commendation has come from the managing director of APSSDC, not some officer. I was not in Siemens. This is my after knowledge. 2018, I left. I had no understanding of what was happening. On the same 2021, there's another side of uh, APSSDC, which for reasons unknown, and I would be very curious to know what was the internal trigger that while the managing director is giving a letter of commendation based on successful handover and successful completion of this project, would somebody want and come and do an investigation which never ever did a single visit of any of these centers and did any single verification of this project and said this project is bogus, based on which an FIR was launched and rest is history. We all, you all know what has happened. This is a big mystery because it's, it's pretty much like the analogy that I want to give is that you know you are investigating how a murder was done, how a person has been killed, etc, etc. When the person who is supposed to be murdered is actually standing out over there. The person is actually standing out over there and you are investigating how he was murdered, where is the weapon, etc. But it intrigues me that without even first, you know, there's an Aesop fable that if the crow says that your ear has been taken, the first thing that you should do is put your hand on the ear and see if your ear has been taken. Don't run after the crow. This is something we have learned in the schools. Why something as basic as this was not done before these charges were riled up to say that this project is a, is, is a, is a bogus project, sham project, and then, you know, allegations, wildest allegations, I can't even imagine, have been, high, uh, you know, filed upon me and, and other people, and rest is all, all up to you. This project was so successful that KPMG, in its 2016 State of India report, KPMG Global, in the State of India report, cites this project as an example and a case study of one of the most successful projects that could ever be done. All of that has been ignored. The detailed document leading to the project, which, is, which has all the reasons, it, it, it's, it's like the, the, the whole scope document, which was a part of uh, every conversation based on which the deliveries were done. By the way, I must, I must uh, tell you also this, the scope of this project was end delivery. It was not supply of products or hardware, software, etc. It was the, the entire scope, it was operational scope of outcome-based scope of training students to the industry quality that is required. That document has been consistently been not referred to and that document has been consistently been not brought into picture because it clearly shows the level and the depth 
of which this project was envisaged and what this project has been delivered. As you would understand, when you are talking about the scope as outcome, it is not just a bill of material. People who understand engineering, I use an engineering word, it's also called the bill of process, which is the know-how, which in many people who talk about, uh, you know, startup industry called IP, but it's a know-how, it's a knowledge, and there is a bill of services. All of this was envisaged in this project and all of this has been delivered because otherwise I'm, I'm simple. The, look at the end result. The, if the end result is what it is in front of you and the, and the infrastructure that was used to deliver that is in front of you, that's, the, that's what the project speaks about itself. And I can always say that this project, you know, and as, as Siemens, the company that I led and I worked with, we led this project successfully uh, with our partners and our ecosystem. There were hundreds of partners and ecosystem players. Uh, who were um, uh, engaged in delivering this project and this project was done absolutely successfully.